I am outside Corcoran, a small Central Valley city in California. The road that I'm on ends in a flooded landscape. This water is more than 10 feet deep in some places. The water covers fields, homes, dairies, and businesses. When I asked the residents of the city, I came to know it was a return of the ghost to Larry Lake. California Sierras are covered with snow. At some places, there's more than 30 feet of snow. That snowpack is going to melt with the summer heat, and more and more water will end up in the Tulare Lake. This water could double or triple. Why do they call it a ghost Tulare Lake? California had a large lake that covered the whole Central Valley. From Bakersfield to Sacramento, the low-lying area was covered with water 750,000 years ago. This was the largest body of water in the western United States. Some even say it was as big as Lake Michigan. This lake was the Corcoran Lake, or sometimes called the Clyde's Lake. The rivers from the Sierras filled the lake with fresh water. California is geologically active area. The tectonic plate movement causes earthquakes and changes the landscapes. Almost 600,000 years ago, the Pacific Plate pushed the mountain range to create a drainage called a Cochin Strait, draining most of the lake slowly into San Francisco Bay. After the drainage of Lake Corcoran, the low-lying areas of the lake still had water and were smaller bodies of water. Three smaller lakes were left, the Tulare Lake, the Kern Lake, and the Buena Vista Lake. Of the three lakes, Tulare Lake was the largest body of water in California for thousands of years. It was 650 to 700 square miles in size, with water 25 to 35 feet deep in some places. A large population of native Indians lived around the Tulare Lake that provided food and fresh water for the residents. The Indian population was decimated as early as 1500 due to introduced diseases by the Europeans. In the 19th century, there was a big push to use water from the Tulare Lake for agriculture. This push continued till 20th century when most of the rivers were dammed and the water was used for agriculture and drinking. The Tulare Lake was a dried lake basin in the early 1900s that was used for agriculture. For now, the Tulare Lake is back. After years of human agriculture and habitation, Tulare Lake is back to claim its ownership on the vast expense of landscape. <laughs>